What's up everyone? This is your boy Jermaine back with another video back with another VR 360 video So make sure if you're watching this on a phone you go down to the settings and you cut this up in 4k It's gonna look a whole lot better. Trust me So I'm super excited to show off this San Francisco location. I don't know if I've ever made a video here before But this is the first time me making a video here now. I know a lot of people are very familiar with Lombard Street Lombard Street is this windy amazing street that's quite touristy however lombard street is not the only really windy street in the city right over here behind me is vermont street and we're going to go down and then we're going to go up but vermont street is actually windier than lombard street but vermont street is not so iconic you will see because we're going to go explore so feel free to look around in 360 um, this is how this is how it starts here it's just a windy road going down uh, this looks like it was a walkway but maybe this walkway got washed away over time because it's just grass grown there and then here we can um, we'll take the stairs and then we'll walk up because it'll be easier to walk walk up versus to go down so it looks like this was like an old stairwell back in the day this place looks pretty bizarre. You can tell it's been kind of forgotten about. If we even go over here, there's more steps that's going down. Um, right below us is the freeway. It's quite noisy. I don't know if y'all can hear it. There's all sorts of seating areas around. Insane views of the city. Let's stay on this path and let's go down so we can see what we see when we go down. Yeah, this looks like it is, looks like uh, it was a walkway, maybe it was washed away or something. So let's go down, let's walk down and check it out, it's just pretty, it's pretty cool. We can kind of zigzag, there's multiple stairwells, stairwells, there's multiple ways to get around, as you can see, there's no traffic. Um, it's kind of quiet, excluding the street noise. Now, of course, on Lombard Street, you have all sorts of beautiful flowers and all sorts of beautiful trees. Over here, there's beautiful trees and beautiful flowers, but it's not as manicured. It doesn't look all picture perfect like Lombard Street. But this is one of, you know, this is one street that's kind of forgotten about in the city. But this could actually be a thing someday. Wow, there's another stairwell going down here. Yeah, Vermont Street could literally be a thing one day if they they you know cleaned it up and not cleaned it up but just you know manicured it make it look all nice make it look touristy but then i know it also like could very well make the neighborhood a whole lot different than what it is today because right now this is a quiet sleepy chill neighborhood it's not like lombard street lombard street there's always tourists outside your house there's always people taking photos you know not here it's as you can see i'm the only one around you don't even see a soul around pretty quiet i think i saw one person up up at the top but this hour is pretty pretty quiet around so this here is the bottom here i don't know if y'all can hear but there's definitely the freeway behind and then there's a lot of artwork over there we're just gonna kind of go back up i want to take the stairwell because one thing about the city the city is full of stairwells and they all go <laughs> to a different location and they also make it easy getting up these hills because we just walked down them um down vermont street and as you can see it's quite hilly so we'll just go up oh look at these garages you imagine like trying to park your car in here every day. But this one may not be so bad, but on Lombard Street, there's some really tight garages. So this here is the famous Vermont Street. Now, once a year there is a, a skateboard ride that happens around here that brings a lot of people to the neighborhood. 
I think it's called Vermont Street Hill Bomb or something like that. This area is full of people, full of skaters. It's pretty awesome, it's pretty happening. We'll go this way. Oh, like you said, very quiet. <laughs> no traffic, no people. <laughs> Um, and it's pretty much always been like this. This is like kind of far from where the tourists would be in the city. Oops. Um, Lombard Street works perfect because it's right near Fisherman's Wharf. It's right near, um, it's pretty close to Union Square, pretty close to Knob Hill. But then over here, there's like not a lot of touristy stuff around here. So that's what makes this neighborhood a little challenging and that's probably why Vermont Street never got really really popular back in the day other than you know a skateboard hill bomb or something of that sort but for now we are back up back at the top just went down Lombard Street for not Lombard Street but Vermont Street for a quick minute and yeah there we have it so I'll see y'all later like comment subscribe thanks a lot for watching and Peace out, y'all.